Okay, it looks like it's game on. Oh, it's super game on. Spectre. Weak to acid, thankfully. Ooh, ugly one, aren't you? Okay, we're gonna try and blow off some of this armor. Oh, it almost got me. Almost tricked me. Oh, it is very strong. Uh, we're going to need to switch something out real quick. Let's do... I don't have an acid trip caster. Maybe not. Quick. Trying to activate. Oh, it's gone now. I think we got. <laughs> I think we got him stuck or something. Gotta get more ammo. Yeah, I think we broke it. I'm okay with that. There. Are you okay, Aloy? Yeah, I'm heading up top. Stay down here with the clone for now. Got it. I'll follow once the coast is clear. It's interesting that its internals are made up of things that we can use, which would insinuate that Well, I mean, this away for later. maybe it's less otherworldly than we sort of anticipated. You know what I'm saying? Gotta get back up top and deal with that other specter. I just hope Aaron stays in cover. Notch up here. Hey, Lloyd. Ah. I'm coming. Errand. Yeah, the Spectre's dug its seals in. It's got me pinned down. Hang tight. I'm almost there. Just hurry. Oh, that doesn't sound good. I gotta get to Errand. I'm here. My job. That thing shooting down the center. Stay put. I'll see what I can do. And the second you need me. Maybe I'm we there. can get that cannon. Spectre's not budging from that spot. I might be able to sneak up on it. As I stand at the line of fire. It's got some kind of shield up. I need to sneak around behind it. It'll be a tough fight if I take that thing head on. 
Okay then. Oh, there's a down weapon there. We could use it against the structure. Now this will do some damage. Come on, man. Well, not as tough as I thought they would be. Job for all. Uh, Aloy, she's. Look, I swear I'm not drunk, but <laughs> right now I'm seeing double. Long story, but it'll have to wait. She needs a healer, but we need to get her back to the base immediately. Right. Yeah. Well, what are we waiting for then? You two go on ahead. I need to take another look at that weapon. If I can figure out how that thing works, maybe the Zenus won't be so invincible after all. But, but, I wonder how much snow is going to pile up. Okay, where? Oh, the weapon up top now. Okay, I understand. A great start. Well, it's better than nothing. It's powered by disco. I need to get the weapon fragment to Gaia to analyze. If we can replicate it, maybe we'll have a way to defeat the Zenus. I should check on the clone too. Burl, where's our guest? We're in the maintenance corridor below the control room. Okay, we'll definitely talk to them. Why have I seen this before? Errand? You okay? Huh? That's oh, that's yeah, rare yeah. where it just teleports us I back mean, here. I don't think that's be? ever happened. Because there's two of me now. Hey, there's two of you now. <laughs> well, at least you seem to be handling it okay. <sighs> I wouldn't say that exactly, but I'm trying. What are you reading next? I saw Gaia added something to the archives about metal rods being used to harness lightning during storms. Oh, yes. The guy reminded me of a cousin of mine. Thought he could trap lightning if he covered himself in stormbird plates. <laughs> uh oh. Went up the tallest mountain in the claim to prove it. It ended like a lot of Asaram things do. With a spark and a boom. Poor guy. What are you working on with your focus? I'm still figuring out how to read stuff on this thing. Those two lovebirds over there have been giving me a hand. But to be honest, all the little symbols they give me a headache. But I'll get up to speed. I promise. 
Did you speak with Beta at all? She didn't really wake up till we brought her here. And when she did, I, I thought it'd be better if Zoe and Varl took care of her. No use crowding someone when they're in a state. Well read, Aaron. Well read. I have to get going. Don't go causing too much trouble. Aloy, we've gathered some supplies in that chest. Dude, take what you need. That's insane. If this is always going to have stuff every time we come back here. Aloy, you're back. Yeah, I'm just uh, checking up on how everyone's doing. You mean after meeting someone who looks exactly like you, but isn't you down in the basement? Yes, correct. Guess this must be even stranger for you than it is for us, huh? A little. <laughs> Varl said she may be able to help us in our mission, though. Maybe. What else have you been up to? I've been studying Gaia's seedlings, the subfunctions. I wanted to understand why one of them would do what they did to Fa. Imagine my surprise when I looked into this <laughs> Hephaestus. Yeah, and I can found imagine. It helped create all machines, our land gods included. In a way, the Utaru owe Hephaestus are whole way of life as well as our current troubles that's why we have to make Gaia whole again learn anything interesting lately there's been much to read up on now that ether has been reunited with Gaia it's hard to imagine that machines like storm birds once helped heal the skies I used to be terrified of them as a child thunder still brings chills to my skin but everything Gaia creates has a purpose no yeah. And if we can get Hephaestus back, she can get those stormbirds in line. You said you met Beta? Varl mentioned she was hurt. I thought I'd offer her an extract to soothe the pain. That was kind of you. I just hope she doesn't plan on staying burrowed down there like that. She looks like she's barely seen the light of day as it is. I need to get going. May the land bloom in your steps. Yeah, see, now our touch points with them are going to be pretty quick, but still interesting enough to want to do it. Um, where is my table? I wonder what it where did Catalo go? Okay. I don't think I'm going to upgrade any of those. And this one... Yeah. We're a ways off. Traps. What about pouch upgrades? I don't think we have enough animal stuff here. Aloy, glad you made it back okay. She panicked after waking up and stumbled down here. I thought it best to wait for you. Probably smart. I'll talk to her. Hello? Of course she would be in the server room. It's, uh, it's Beta, right? My name's Aloy. What's wrong? Is it your injury? Simulacrum withdrawal syndrome. I don't understand. Sudden removal of a neurologically integrated data device. The brain, especially the cerebellum, goes into a kind of sensory freefall. Everything real feels unreal, distant. Is there anything that can help? Do you have a focus to spare? It's, it's primitive, but I can make it work. Yeah. Booting up. So, uh, Aloy, I suppose you want information <laughs> about you and the Zeniths? Yeah. Why are they here? What do they want? How did they get you? 
But let's start at the beginning. I'm guessing they faked the destruction of their ship a thousand years ago? That seems consistent with their behavior, they wouldn't want to be followed. So far Zenith established a colony world after all. Yes, for a few hundred years, but it didn't last. Some sort of natural disaster rendered it uninhabitable. Which is why they're okay, back. So, the descendants of Far Zenith escaped a dying planet, and now they want to claim Earth for themselves? Not their descendants. What? Not their descendants. It, it, it's them. The same ones who left Earth yeah, thousands years they, ago. Yeah, see, they you figured out know? a way to extend life. How can they still be alive? They don't even look... What did they do to themselves? I believe it's a combination of pharmaceutical, cellular treatments, and technological implants. And, and you? Does that mean that you are... I'm not like them. I was made. On the way to Earth. On the ship. I spent years studying in my training interface. All so that I could serve my function. Access and control of the terraforming system. Yeah. But why? That's so trippy. What do the Zeniths want with it? When I discovered the Zero Dawn system had disseminated into its subcomponents, I thought my purpose was to fix it. But I don't think the Zeniths want that at all. I think they want to wipe Earth clean and start over. So the Zeniths want to exterminate life on Earth. That's what Guy and I concluded too. But why? Why kill everyone just to take over? When they took me on missions with them, I saw how they butchered the tribal people we encountered. They didn't seem to care about a rejuvenated Earth, so I concluded that they must want a hard reboot of the system. Then they can redesign it to be exactly what they want. Mass extinction for their own comfort? Who thinks like that? Well, without their Gaia Colonel, they'll have a hard time doing that. The Zeniths needed Elizabeth's gene print to access Zero Dawn facilities. So they made you. Trained you. And you went along with it? Well, they told me I was born to interface with the Zero Dawn system. Yeah. But when we reached Earth, I pieced together what must have happened to Gaia and her subordinate functions. That's when I started to realize I wasn't meant to fix Gaia. That they must have made me so I could do what their remote extinction signal failed to do. Reboot Earth for their own benefit. So you know about the extinction signal? It was speculation, but the only logical conclusion why Gaia suddenly self-destructed after operating efficiently for centuries. Gaia would have only undertaken such a desperate course of action if it had detected a threat to life on Earth that was more dangerous than ceasing function altogether. I should have realized that she would also order the recreation of Elizabeth Sobek to rebuild her. Yeah, well, surprise. So we're dealing with the same far zenith people who once lived on Earth. What else do you know about them? They were some of the most affluent and powerful people on Earth. They controlled almost every major resource, every industry. Gerard commands them. He's the one who decided to set up a base. The others, Eric, Tilda, Verbena, they resent his authority over them, but in the end, they always do what he says. Eric, he's the one I fought back in the Hades Proving Lab. He enjoys hurting people. Yeah, I know. You mentioned the Zenith set up a base here on Earth. Where is it? Off the coast, I think. Whenever I had to go on missions, I was transported inside of a Spectre drone. I couldn't see anything outside. But I did overhear the Zeniths talking about it once. They were discussing setting up a perimeter energy shield to repel the local fauna. I'm certain they have other security measures. Spectre patrols, machine moors. It, it must be impregnable. What's inside the base? Launch facilities, so they can shuttle back and forth to their ship in orbit. Plus, infrastructure to gather materials and fabricate anything they need. Are there more Zeniths than the ones you met? Uh, I'm not sure. I, I suppose there must be more of them in the base or back on the ship. For all I know, there could be more of them out in space. Other survivors of the colony. You said the Zenith's colony in the Sirius system was destroyed. What happened? All I was ever told was that a natural disaster forced them to leave Sirius. I've speculated that it was an extrasolar object or a cataclysmic seismic event. 
Or maybe even an abnormally violent coronal mass ejection from Sirius A. The Zeniths never told you any details. They said the only thing that mattered was that they survived. First Earth, a thousand years ago, and then Sirius. Guess they survived old age, too. How did you escape the Zeniths? Before the Hades Proving Lab, I never thought I'd get away from them. Even if I were to run, I'd never survive on my own in the wilds. But then I saw you. And I thought that maybe you could help me. So when the Zeniths pinpointed Eleuthia's location in the biomedical research facility, I saw an opportunity. Cool. You said you saw an opportunity to escape when you went to capture Eleuthia. What did you do, exactly? Whenever I was taken out on a mission to recover a subordinate function, only one of the Zeniths would go with me. The one the rebels killed. There we go. The okay, okay. Bainus dead? She is. How did they bypass her shield? Don't know yet. I'm looking into it. But you were talking about your escape? Well, when it was time to use the Zenith transmitter to send Eleuthia back to base, I also sent the encrypted transmission. <laughs> and I distracted Verbena long enough to seal myself in the ectogenic chamber, altering the facility's log so it appeared that there were only yeah. 236 containers. Oh, that's containers. so cool. And the Gaia root kernel? I told them I could capture Eleuthia faster if I had it with me, and they believed me. Genius. Well okay. Done. So that does confirm, obviously, that she is the same one, not another clone. You said you were born on the way to Earth. And explains why she had in the kernel, womb, which guessing. was a bit questionable. The Zeniths had an ectogenic chamber aboard the ship. An updated version of the one you found me in. They must have used a stored sample of Elizabeth's DNA. I doubt Elizabeth would have let them take her DNA. Do you know how they got it? That wasn't part of the archive I was allowed to access. You said you spent years studying in a training interface. Was this archive you mentioned part of that? But only the parts I was permitted to access. Aristotle and Aspasia, the, the avatars of the archive, would assign me learning modules and evaluate my progress. Wait, those names? They were designed to be the virtual guides for the Apollo database before Ted Farrow purged it. The Zeniths have a copy. Oh, of course so they do. It still exists. And you got to learn from it. <laughs> Only what was deemed pertinent Apollo to the Apollo was all about archives, right? If I requested information outside of my parameters, my tutors would deny it. To have all that knowledge... Yeah. yeah. Just out of reach. Just checking my notes. Must have been frustrating. Alright, I think that's enough for now. Do you... Want to come upstairs, or so? How long? How long? What? You know your, your your plan. How long before Gaius fabricated a machine army to defeat the Zenus? How did you know optimal strategy? So, <laughs> well, I still have to get two more subordinate functions before Gaius is powerful enough to absorb Hephaestus. What? You don't have Hephaestus already? I can't get it. I I'm still figuring out how to capture it. It's not confined to a single to a single location. Of course not. You're stressing me out. Zenus really are. You were supposed to be further along by now. Coming here was a mistake. Uh oh. They're gonna find me. They're gonna find this place and take me back. This was all for nothing. They're not going to find us. Guy is using Minerva to mask our location. What difference does it make? You're too far behind. We're never going to beat them. Everything. Everyone. They're gonna die. Hey. Calm down. You're here now, right? So See, she had this whole thing mapped out in her head as to how it should go. Optimal strategy. And we're behind. And given your state of progress, expertise you probably lack. Geoengineering, of course. Computer science, physics, biology, chemistry. Okay. Well, see if you can do something with that. <laughs> Talk to Gaia. I'll check on you later. And take a chill pill. We're 50. How'd it go? Her injury's not that bad, but I think she regrets coming here. Feeling might be mutual. <laughs> mm. I'll come back later and talk to her. See if I can learn anything. Go easy, Varl. I should get the weapon fragment to Gaia.
pizza? Apparently it tastes worse than... Hey, you and Darren okay? I cut off Nothing something about pizza. I Im immediately regretted Are it. Are you okay? This beta thing. It's a lot. Even for you. Just trying to take it one step at a time. Fair enough. If you need anything, just let me know. It's good to see you and Zoe enjoying yourselves. We're learning a lot. I've actually been looking through the data to find ideas for a gift, and to thank her for helping me study the glyphs. Something from the old world that she's never seen before. Get Instead, her an Apple Watch. I found out they gave each other stuffed animals. <laughs> if you ask me, stuffing a dead animal with anything, really, doesn't sound like a good time for anybody. Maybe Gaia can help you find something else. How's everyone dealing with Beta? I tried explaining what a clone is to Aaron. He was totally lost. Then Zoe said something about two trees coming from one seed. That seemed to help a bit. I see everyone settling in. Zoe's planning on bringing all kinds of plants in here. Says a home should always spring with life anew. I asked Aaron to help find some. I think he'd rather stick his head into a snap ball. <laughs> Still, it's not a bad idea. Should liven up the place. Yeah, it was a bit sterile for a bit there, so... I should get back to the wilds. I'll keep an eye on Beta. Make sure she's comfortable. Okay. We'll check in with uh, Katalo, and then... We'll uh, go to Gaia. Looks like some of the holograms are working now. I have repurposed the displays to track Wagala's activity in the region. A useful war map. Oh, I see. I... I hope I'm not interrupting. No, but I must ask. The woman Varl and Aaron brought in, she's... related to you. Sort of. It's hard to explain. Um, she's more of a copy. Hmm. Good. If she's anything like you, we've just gained reinforcements. Maybe. Hmm, nothing new in there. Weird. You said you were training with the Focus? That's right. I've been watching holograms of your first fight with the Zenith Spectres. They are faster and more agile than any machines I've faced before. How many do the Zeniths have? I'm not sure. Probably a lot. I would not wish to face them en masse. Yeah. I'm with you there. Getting Aether out of the grove made for quite a spectacle. One that showed the entire tribe that Hikaro's mission for peace is the correct path, for it is now blessed by the Ten themselves. I heard my friend Talana came by the base. Did you get a chance to meet her? Briefly. A bold woman going into Tanakh territory with that Karja armor of hers. She'll be lucky if my people don't shoot her on sight. Yeah, she'll, she'll handle be it. Careful. She's just looking for someone who might need her help. Whoever it is, they better be worth dying for. Have you had a chance to speak with Varl? Briefly. He fought well against Regala's troops at Baron Light. Are all Nora as skilled as the two of you? I'm not exactly one of them. But anyway, the Nora can hold their own. They managed to push the Karja from their lands. I thought my tribe was the only one to have done that. Impressive. I need to go. On your way, then. Merci beaucoup. See, we have a new guest. So now we know the origin of the transmission. Yeah. I also recovered this. The weapon it was part of somehow stripped a zenith of its shield, but it malfunctioned and blew up. If we can recreate the weapon and improve it, maybe we'll gain the upper hand on the zenith. A moment. I will scan it. Yeah. 
complete. By combining the results with data from your focus, I can infer that the weapon was highly advanced, comparable to Zenith technology, but not how it worked. Did the explosion corrupt the data? It was only a catalyst. The moment the weapon malfunctioned, it appears a command executed to purge all data within its core. Well, of course, it would do that. This was to prevent Very the weapon's helpful. secrets from falling into enemy hands. Whoever designed this weapon knew how to cover their tracks. Silence. So I was just going to say silence. That's exactly where it came from. That is my conclusion as well. Yeah. And he's not going to cooperate with us. Well, it was worth a shot. But that's not all. The Zenus got Aluthia, along with Artemis and Apollo. That is unfortunate. <laughs> However, our yeah. original plan remains unchanged. The two remaining subordinate functions should increase my heuristic processing density enough to absorb Hephaestus. Right. One problem at a time. Well, I guess I better get back out there. I wish you luck on your search. Right. Thanks, Gaia. So I guess we won't be making use of Cylon's weapon. And now there is another clone of Elizabeth here with us. Gotta love that. Really distract me. I still have two more subfunctions to get. Hey, Gaia. I'm back. So I see what is on your mind. So, I guess Beta's here to stay. I gave her a focus. Told her to talk to you to see if she can help. She's... Not what I expected. What were you expecting? I don't know. Someone more helpful, I guess. And less pessimistic. It is true she overestimated our progress. However, it is also worth noting that her confidence in your abilities emboldened her to escape the Zeniths. I guess so. Give her time. She may yet come around. Yeah, I mean, it's overwhelming no matter who you are. When we were at the facility where we found Beta, there were records that said Far Zenith were researching embryogenesis. I know they traded their ectogenic chambers to Zero Dawn, but why were they researching it in the first place? At this point, we can only speculate. Perhaps at one time they meant the Odyssey to be a colony ship, necessitating such technology. As their goals evolved over time, so did their areas of research. So they got more selfish as the risks of staying on Earth kept rising. Hmm. Yeah, here we go. Okay, this is actually really important. So the Zeniths are the same people who left Earth. Physically immortal. How'd they figure it out? From what we know of Far Zenith, it is plausible that prominent geneticists and engineers were offered a place aboard the Odyssey in exchange for their expertise. Given enough time, technology, and resources, any challenge can be overcome. Like how Minerva eventually generated the deactivation codes for the Pharaoh Plague. Exactly. Okay. Beta believes the Zenus want to use the terraforming system to wipe out life on Earth. Start over. So they can build it how they want. Further supporting our hypothesis. But why? Given their technology, they could wipe out the tribes of the world by easier means. And if they're the same people who left Earth a thousand years ago, wouldn't they want the biosphere to be as it was? It is likely they adjusted to different planetary conditions in their colony on Sirius. They may be trying to recreate that environment here. Turning Earth into a new Sirius. Their own personal playground. The Zeniths, Gerard, Eric, Tilda, Verbena. Beta said they were some of the most powerful people on Earth. 
Do you know anything about them? Unfortunately, no. My personal database is limited to those who worked on Zero Dawn. Additionally, it appears Far Zenith was quite secretive about their members. Only one, Oswald Dalgard, was ever publicly known. Right. Okay. He was the spokesperson back at their old launch facility. What we can conclude from your and Beta's experiences is that the Zeniths are ruthless in pursuit of their goal. To protect life on Earth, they must be stopped. The extinction signal didn't just wake Hades. It made every subordinate function self-aware. Why? I have wondered this myself. So far as I can tell, Hades was the sole target, and the partial sentience imparted to other subordinate functions was incidental. A signal that precise would require thorough knowledge of the system. How could the Zeniths know that? From the records on your focus, it appears Far Zenith had an informant during the development of Zero Dawn. Hank Shaw. He was supposed to steal a copy of the system for Far Zenith, but Elizabeth and Travis Tate caught him first. Yes. It is likely Far Zenith acquired knowledge on the system's design through him, despite his failure. Yeah. Even if partial. So from what Beta told me, I guess we can assume the Zenith's technology is powerful in all sorts of ways, right? Yes. As your encounters with them amply demonstrate, they appear to make extensive use of robotic servitors. Further, they seem to be equipped with some kind of protective energy field that shields them from harm. They seemed indestructible, but... That weapon the Rebels used stripped their shield somehow. Throughout history, every defensive technology has eventually been defeated by an offensive counterpart. While we lack the anti-shielding weapon, were I to absorb Hephaestus and utilize it to create a large force of combat machines, no shielding could withstand such an assault indefinitely. So there's hope. Always. I like the optimism. I should be going. Goodbye, Aloy. All right. New quest down here? He's loving the tunes. There is something I'd like to discuss. It's about the land gods. If you have time, that is. We're a little busy, but go on. You said you wanted to talk about the land gods? I think there's a way to heal them so that they'll once again provide plain song with grain. Gaia gave me a set of instructions. She called it a uh, reboot code. If we deliver it to the land gods, their derangement will end. Well, that's great. It may be. There are thorns on the path. Unless the code is given by Hephaestus, the land gods will reject it. So Gaia we... showed me a way around this. Oh. We need components called control cores from machines made by Hephaestus. Machines similar to the land gods. You mean Grimhorns? Like the one we fought in the repair bay? Yes. Gaia helped me locate two of them out west. So, kill the machines, get the control cores, then use them to adapt the reboot code into something the land gods will obey? If all goes well, but taking down two Grimhorns won't be easy. Um, have you met me? We'll do it together. Bless you, Aloy. I'll send you the location of the machines. I'll let you know when I get close to those Grimhorns. Good. If we can get their control cores, maybe we really can heal the land gods. I'd love nothing more. Okay. To the outside world. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, let's actually go to the campfire because we're likely going to travel somewhere. You still have nothing to say? 
I see you, oh, Jack. here we have a rumor now. Be careful if you're traveling southwest, champion. Rebels have set up camp in the hills. I'm sure they'd be more than happy to dig your grave. Thanks for the warning. Rebel camp. Like okay. So I'm in the I'm in this situation where I'm basically only gonna be buying things that are like ultra rare or legendary. Um not that I would necessarily buy a bolt blaster, but I don't know. Maybe maybe it would be worth it. I need a lot more shards for this one anyway. Are there any redundant things that I could get rid of? The Whisper Hunter. This one I said I'm kind of not going to be using, but I do wonder if maybe I'm I'm overlooking the uh, the Hunter bows. I probably am. Or sorry, the Warrior bows. Frost Purge Water. Let's replace it here. And then when we fight, I can just like spam, spam, spam. Very quick, quick, quick. Um, and then, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll try to work it in there. Okay, guys, uh, when we come back, what are we going to do? We have a lot of things here. Um, so Poseidon, super southwest. Like we were just told uh, not to go there, but that's probably going to be fine. And that should be the direction that we go. We have a couple other things that are outstanding. Uh, Riverham, which is super north. There's a sharp shot bow there and a couple skill points. Um, Pento seeks to prove his mettle by completing a trial known to the March of the Ten, but the brutal challenge may be too much. Uh, blood for blood, meaning Decca. Talk to Talana at the Osaram camp. And the second verse. We should probably do these. As you'll notice, our level is starting to catch up to... Uh, the main. So that's only two behind right now. So I think we probably will. Uh, let's go in here. Energize your spear faster. And resonator blast will max that out. Okay. And then we just need to grab some of these other ones along the sides. Like, melee damage boost there will be nice. Critical strike. Yeah, cool. Guys, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one, okay? Bye for now.